Welcome to the Hebrew Alternative, news, advice, education to inform, educate, and uplift my Hebrew family. Now this station was created for you, Zion, from the point of view from Awakened Hebrew. Hallelujah. This is the Daily Mail, and let's take a look at the two suspects that killed poor little Jasmine Barnes. And yes, they are black, which the identity of this individual here was mistaken for a white man, which led many to believe that it was this crime was racially motivated when it wasn't. Turns out this is a mistake and identity case in which she paid the price for. Picture the two black suspects in the Walmart shooting death of seven-year-old Jasmine Barnes after it was initially thought to be a race hate crime when witnesses described seeing a white man in his 40s fleeing the scene. And so, I don't know how they mistake this face for a white man face, but they did. Jasmine murder suspects. And here they are. Another black on black crime, huh? Senseless shooting without care, without heart, without, without even knowledge of who they shot. Police now have two suspects in custody connected with the murder of seven year old Jasmine Barnes Wright, who was gunned down in a Texas Walmart parking lot a week ago. Eric Black Jr. 20 Center was arrested and charged with capital murder after the little girl was shot dead in Houston on December 30th. They said early Sunday that Black was arrested without incident after receiving a tip and later admitted to, sh to the shooting. Another man, Larry Woodruff, 24 left, was the second suspect to be taken into custody. The Barnes family lawyer, Lee Merritt, released a copy of Woodruff's a uh, mugshot on Sunday and said he is believed to be the shooter. Jasmine was in the family's car with her mother and three siblings when a red pickup truck pulled up next to them and someone started firing inside the vehicle. Police initially described the suspect as a bearded white man in his 40s based on a description from various witnesses and victims. They released a police sketching showing a white man in set and Jasmine's mother. La Portia Washington said she believed the shooting was racially motivated. However, both men arrested in connection with the little girl's murder are black. It is possible the white man previously described to police as a suspect was simply a bystander trying to escape the shooting. Yeah, that is possible. It is very possible. And it's a shame that this has happened, Zion. This is really a shame. Okay, this is the actual article. And I'm going to leave a description to this article. So that you can fully read it. And I'm just going to read just a little bit. Jasmine Barnes, 7, was shot dead in a Walmart parking lot in Houston, Texas on December 30th. She was in the family's car with her mother and three siblings when a red pickup truck pulled up next to them and someone started firing inside the vehicle, which turned out to be these two suspects here. Both, this one has been charged with capital murder, capital murder already and the sex suspect is in custody. And I'm pretty sure they're going to charge him um, with murder as well. And we read some of these things here already. Let me come down here. Play this video for y'all.
All right, so Mr. Black, you're charged in the 176th District Court, Judge Nikita Harmon, with the um, capital felony of capital murder of a person under 10 years of age. We're now going to hear the probable cause. If there is probable cause, here's the state's rendition of probable cause. Your Honor, on uh, December the 30th, 2018, um, homicide investigators for the Harris, Sheriff, Harris County Sheriff's Office were assigned to investigate the capital murder of complainant Jasmine Barnes, a seven-year-old female. Um, homicide investigators uh, spoke with um, other uh, officers uh, who had made the initial scene of the shooting now obviously i can't play all of that but you can come back and check out this article yourself poor little child man this is this is sad and zion we know when it's going to get better don't we when our messiah returned and gather us and bring us back to our land that's when it's going to get better for us Zion now let's go check out this other article about the shutdown that's going on the government shutdown as some of y'all know the government shut down around what December 20th and the workers have not been getting paid ever since can you imagine that working for free not getting paid for what three weeks in some cases let's read the story hard to digest inmates eat holiday steak during shutdown while prison workers go unpaid <laughs> that's messed up huh <laughs> some florida prisoners mock the guards while feasting on a new year's day lunch of grilled steak garlic macaroni biscuits and holiday pies workers say they was taunting them man <laughs> that's messed up <laughs> the partial government shutdown created delicious irony at federal prisons inmates dining on lavish holiday meals in front of disgruntled staffers forced to work without pay now it's it's, it's not really funny Zion because you know some of our people caught up in, in this mess and they're not getting paid and a lot of them spent all their money on Christmas and it, it, they was looking for that recovery check after and now they don't have it and that's why some of them starting to call in like some TSA agents are starting to call in sick because they found other jobs and they're working those jobs Hoping that the government will resolve this and start paying them again. But they still got to feed their families, right? They still got to pay bills. You see what type of government we have? Sick. This is sick. The striking dynamic played out at dozens of prisons across the country on Christmas and New Year's Day. Several workers told NBC News aggravated staffers who were already fretting about bills to pay and children to feed and children to feed. Inmates at F FCI Pekin in Illinois enjoyed a fancy meal of steak and shrimp on January the 1st. Cornish hen and Boston cream pie were on the menu at the Metropolitan Detention Center in Brooklyn and the prisoners at a federal institution in minnesota munched on heaping plates of chicken wings <laughs> according to the staffers and it, this ain't funny man this is this is a sick government and documents obtained by nbc news you're you're giving a gift to somebody who committed a crime but yet you won't pay the people who are supervising them said sandy parr a food service foreman at Federal Medical Center in Rochester, Minnesota. It's frustrating and maddening, Zion. Let's see a little bit what this dude has to say about it.
Two weeks into this shutdown, a two-hour talk and two versions of how it went. He said he'd keep the government closed for a very long period of time, months or even years. We just completed a lengthy and sometimes a contentious conversation with the president. I thought it was really a, a very, very good meeting. The president, in a surprise appearance in the Rose Garden, revealing he's considering going around Congress altogether by invoking emergency national security powers to get the wall he wants. We can call a national emergency and build it very quickly, and uh, it's another way of doing it. But if we can do it through a negotiated process, we're giving that a shot. But in a sign the president may be shifting his stance, what that wall looks like? So you have a concrete wall, and it goes, that's what I do best. Sounds different than. That's all we need to hear from him. See this arrogant dude right here not caring about the people who need to feed their families. He's holding out for a wall. Y'all hear this? This is the president of the United States. This is America. And this is a total shame, Zion. This is a total shame. I'm going to leave a link to the rest of this article if you want to read it in the description box below and in the comment section and uh thank you for tuning in zion y'all know these matters do affect us too forgive me for uh, laughing at the narrative of this narrative here but we have our people suffering as well right along with all the other government workers during the shutdown so tell me what you think in the comment section below. Shalom.